Hello, Amy here. In this video, I do a second edition test for CAN Signal Connected Motor. First, let me introduce the motherboard. So here is the motherboard runs Clipper firmware. This one is a Clipper 3.5 inch Mano TFT touchscreen. We convert USB to CAN signal and connect the three bars through CAN signal. As long as there is a CAN chip on the board, it can be directly connected through CAN. Then we can check whether the movement of the motor is consistent through the transmission signal. Okay, let us see that this is the tool head, and those bars are installed on the hot end. But how did the CAN signal come from? First, that's a nice feature is our motherboard run Linux system and Clipper firmware for 3D printing through Linux system. And the Linux system can, can read convert the USB transmission signal into CAN signal from here to control the three motherboards respectively. And next, the three motherboards control the three motors respectively. So we can test whether the three motors move uniformly and whether there is delay. Well, you should not see that those lines are very long, but they do not affect this transmission speed at all. And its synchronization is also very good. Well, next, let's take a look at the clipper screen. As you can see that there is everything on the screen. First, you can see the thumbnail of the printed file in the print. It is very convenient that the screen will be displayed when you make thumbnails with slicing software. There is Wi-Fi information on it. It will display your IP address and the network you are connected to. Okay. Now let's click the S2 option start the test. And now you can see that the motor is rotating. And as you can see that the rotation direction of the motor is the same. Although the signal lines of the two tool heads are one millimeter long, but this test provides that long distance has no effect on signal transmission. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this test. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.